going on guys? Uh, we got a redo of an old video. Uh, it was a popular video. I didn't explain myself quite right, so we're gonna redo it, try again for 2020. Uh, this is gonna be uh, measuring your Cuban link bracelet. Same thing applies for chains, but bracelets is more of a big deal because uh, it doesn't fit, doesn't work. First, let's just talk about it a little bit. With the Cuban links, measuring it is a little bit weird because you can't include this end, right? You gotta measure from here forward because it actually sits inside of the other end of the link. So it doesn't count towards the length. Uh, with the Cuban links, another popular thing is people will measure their wrists. People, they'll measure their wrist and think that it's the exact fit and it's just not how it works. So if I were to measure my wrist here, all the way around, uh, a lot of people have, you know, clothing measure tapes at home. If I measure my wrist and I keep it tight, which is what people do, my wrist is seven inches, right? Seven inches on the dot is what my wrist is. Seven inches is my wrist size. The bracelet that I wear every day is not seven inches. It's actually seven and a half inches. So to measure, I put it, the button, clip it on the end, pull it forward, that's your length. So as you can see, I'm seven and a half inches. I'm a seven inch wrist, so it's about a half inch. It can change, you know, if you have a bone there or something, it might be a little bit, but about a half inch bigger than what your actual wrist size. It's what you're looking at for smaller sizes. If you jump up to a bigger piece, like this, uh, I think this is a 19 millimeter. It's gonna have to be bigger because how big the links are. So this thing, put it on. So with this one, you're gonna see it is, fits me perfect, right? It's not seven and a half, this one's actually eight inches. So like I said, when you jump up to something big, like a 19 millimeter, you gotta go a whole. Number eight is a little too tight. So we got it off. Uh, so like I said, so this one is actually a little bit over eight inches. So that's how it goes to show you. Uh, my wrist is seven inches. My normal bracelet, which is eight and a half millimeters, is seven and a half inches. And if I were to get a big thing like a 19 millimeter, I would need an eight, a little bit over an eight inch bracelet. Um, I got this one here to show you. This is also a seven inch, seven and a half inch bracelet. And with this one, I can barely put it on. When I do put it on, there is absolutely no play. It doesn't go anywhere. And this is a seven and a half inch. It just shows you when you get bigger sizes, you gotta keep going up by little increments to get it. The right size bracelet, it's gold, don't worry. Same thing applies if I were to get a longer bracelet, just like this big one up here. This is the same length as this one. And when I put this one on, same length as that 19 millimeter, but there's just way too much play. That comes way too far down my wrist. I personally do not like them when they fall this low. Some people do, and that's what you want, and you gotta go longer. I don't like them when they're this low. I think I like mine falling more up here, like my bracelet does. Like, same thing applies, uh, same, Measuring style applies for necklaces. Uh, just necklaces aren't as important because it's more based on where you want to fall, unless you've got like a 24 inch neck, but that's just a few and far between. If you have questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, we can try to help you out there. Give us a call, 813-888-8590, or shoot us an email at info at Thanks a lot, guys.